my lovely family how are you all doing i hope you're doing fine uh otherwise your village girl is here doing just perfect guys so as you can see i'm holding something in my hands this right here is um i can say one of the most used um can, can i even call it an ing it's not even an ingredient i don't know i don't even know how to call it it's not even a spice oh god which word can i use i don't even i'm lost of words but guys this is one of the things that we use so much in our kitchens as the actual people so we use this for for softening food vegetable beans or most on vegetable actually and beans yeah so we use this for cooking guys there is some liquid that comes out of this first of all this is ash as you can see this is ash and then we drip we make some holes on the bottom of this you can use anything either an old saucepan like this or even um or anything or even this or like anything you just make sure you make some holes underneath the container and then put your ash here and then pour water on top and then the water that is going to come out of that oh my god that's magic on food it is it's it's it's, it's actually a local form of a bicarbonate here yeah? so this is actually how we make our local bicarbonate tell me if you guys use bicarbonates in your in your kitchens i mean please let me know in the comment section because for us we use our local one and this is how we make it guys we don't just use any kind of ashes the particular ashes that we use so guys today we are going to make some as you can see i'm putting up some things here to dry this is just maize combs so this can either be used for firewood but we can also use this for firewood by the way sometimes i use this for firewood or even for baking what i'm going to make now and this is just maize the seeds i'm going to use for the next um season so i want it to dry really really well because there are some pests that always in, in um enters and it's that there's a soft part in a maize so i want it dry just to be safe for the next season and this is just our solar we use this for lighting at night so these are the things today I've put out on the compound. So guys, straight away, let's go and make some bicarbonate, our local way. So let's put down so it shall really, really dry. Please come with me. One minute, let me get the back here. Alright, here we go. Let's look for something that is going to help us burn the maize combs. Pretty hot, oh my! <laughs> So guys my ash is actually cooled already so what we are going to do is to change it because this is what we've been using so i want to change this away because i want to show you how to put this new one that we've just made so let me just change it into this saucepan So this right here is how it looks like inside you can see there is a hole in between are you able to see me through this thing <laughs> because i'm seeing you <laughs> so guys you can see the hole uh beneath under the saucepan so that hole is very useful guys because 
the water that we pour here drips through there. So straight away, let's get our ash into the saucepan. It's very windy, so let me be careful with it. Otherwise, the wind is going to blow it off. Like this, and then you pour water into this one. Here. So, to ensure that the water is passing through the ash, I can actually mix. As you can see, the water is coming out dirty, yeah? So what I do is, I make sure it means even ash is coming out here. So this is not a good one. I'll pour this away. And then what you do is you press this one. You make sure it is compact together. So you press it. It's dripping guys, so let's give it some minutes as it drips and then I show you what the water is going to look like So guys after waiting for 30 minutes, please come and check what has dripped Perfect, you know that I don't even know which taste to say but it's really bitter and that is exactly what we want here So guys, I just made it this liquid here we can use it for cooking beans it makes beans cook really really fast and even on vegetables otherwise thanks a lot for watching guys let me know if you guys make your local bicarbonate the way i just did guys thanks for always watching thanks for subscribing bye bye